Hi everybody, uh, welcome to part four of drawing a picture from scratch. Currently uh, I'm finishing up the drawing that I started earlier, fixing up the artist Anastasia's rough drawing just to show her the entire process. And today I'm going to be working on this flying saucer that she's got here. And uh, hopefully finishing up the rest of this drawing with all the roughs and the details that we've got here. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years. And um, let's get started on this here drawing. Okay, so we've got a flying saucer. Now, Anastasia drew a flying saucer design that she had. So I'm going to bring this up. So here it is. Now, he, the interesting thing about this particular design, the way she's got it here, is that this is actually much more like what she should have had here. Uh, it's closer to the perspective that she actually wants here. Now, because we're looking up at the flying saucer, we want to look, we're looking up at it, um, we're going to be seeing the underside, the underside of the drawing. Um, I have a um, drawing website here. When we're looking up at something that is above the horizon line, see how this This is what we're see we're seeing under this, and then this is this kind of uh, uh, a curve. Usually, when we're looking up at something, this kind of curve is is what we're going to be able to, what's what we're going to be able to see. We won't see a U shape like this because we're looking up at something. In this case, this line here we would not see because what this does is it goes counter the perspective that we want. See how this is going this way, this is going this way, and suddenly this is going down. So this counters the actual perspective that we want. There's, con there's, a, con there's a conflict here of, of um, a perspective. So what we want to do is have all the lines go in the same direction. So first, so let's try to stick also with this saucer shape that we've got here. So I'm going to draw the flying saucer here and I'm going to try to keep the original shape of the design that she has. It is very, very difficult to draw round shapes in perspective because there are, unlike the house, which has definitive corners, we, the a round shape does not. We're thinking about this uh, in the same way that we're thinking about a cylinder. We're thinking about this and we're looking up. Uh, so, so we're thinking, we're thinking this. This is what we're thinking. And this and these lines are the ones that we're picking are these. So if we draw lightly through it, these are the ones in the front. This is how it's going behind. These are behind. And because this is our perspective, we know that We're actually using these perspective lines to 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 um, guide us. We're not using them as like this is exactly where these lines should be, but um, but we're, we're we're using it as a guide to add a three-dimensional structure to this flying saucer. And then we're looking at the bottom, and this opening is also. 
So we're just kind of connecting it here like this. But we're using the perspective, knowing that everything we're drawing, we're looking up at. So it's like an upside down U shape. There we go. And because this per this this flying saucer has a, a window here, then we'll just keep following the same and now we could add those windows. I'm not being perfect here. I'm not measuring them or anything. I'm just putting them where I think they would go. Put a little alien in here. Okay. So that's how I'd tackle the flying saucer. And now that we've got the rest of this detail worked out, um, I could actually just go ahead and try to finish it off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, speed up the the drawing, and uh, I will uh, show you how to uh, how I'm putting these things together. However, one, before I before I do, um, just make a note that this little man, remember that uh, little shrunk little shrink shrunk down guy I made originally he's really tiny now he's right there I just turned him back on he will be my guide for the trees remember the trees how I measured the trees in and in, in, in video uh, three I believe no video two so he that little guy here since we have chosen the horizon line to be right here and cross this guy's head then the little version of him his the horizon line if we were to move him to the horizon line the head would also have to cross through his head see how see how it's crossing through his head because if he was to just walk in here he wouldn't and and the ground plane is is flat um it would be the horizon line would be consistent that's how you measure uh things like uh, props and things in the background so in this case I'm using this little man to decide where the tree would actually begin where the ground plane for these trees would be and it's very helpful to do this sort of thing so that you can get the size relationship of things in the distance in this distant background to be more consistent and accurate it's a very qu quick rule of thumb to be able to do that okay so i'm going to finish up this drawing um and then i'll i'll or, or finish up roughing out this drawing a little bit more accurately uh, by speeding up the, the video.
Okay, so that's basically it. Um, so what do you think? Yeah, uh, I'm just. Uh, this is this is in general the final drawing. Let me put these all in a single folder so I could easily turn these levels up off and on. So this was the original drawing that we started off with. And then I did a pass over it. And we ended up with something that looks a little bit more like this. Uh, just using a little bit of reference uh, and thinking about perspective in, in, a, in, a, in a good way. Let me quickly review what we went over. We went over uh, the design of uh, just of the space in general, based off of the original rough. So don't be afraid to just place the stuff where you want it to be without necessarily needing a vanishing point. Then we added the vanishing, oops, the horizon line um, down here. And then we added a vanishing point. This is the wrong one. This is the one. And uh, once we had the vanishing point, then we were able to more accurately put in all the details. Okay? And that's how we ended up with this picture. Uh, this is not by any means a finished drawing. This is a rough. Uh, but you get the idea. This is, uh, this is about as clean as I'm going to get. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. But... Um, but yeah, uh, so if you if you want me to uh, go over and give you tips on your own drawings, go ahead and ask me. Now I do have a Patreon page, and my patrons, when they ask me questions and they get first dibs, this drawing is from Anastasia, who is one of my patrons, and she asked me a question, and I've been going out of my way to try to answer all her questions as best as I can. If, when you're a patron, you actually get the videos as soon as I make them. Um, if you're just watching this on your own, uh, you, you'll eventually get them, maybe. Uh, but uh, not right away, and they might be months and months before you actually get to see what uh, the patrons get to see pretty much as I make it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.